Welcome to Fury's Craft Prison. Our new structure, new building. Got a huge layout with the central area. Each block. Let's see, let's work our way inside the prison, give you a short little tour. Whoops. Whoop. Visitation. Here's basically where you start out if you're new to the prison. Spawn up in the rules section. Yada yada yada. Don't break these rules. You will get banned. Get you an overview of the courtyard. A little tutorial room. Show you how to do all the commands. What we offer here at this prison. Make money. Use the money to rank up, buy items, sell items in the black market. And to rank up, you just type your ranks, and it's, uh, you know, a progression of uh, money to rank up on your way to freedom. You know, and uh, you can make $2,000 a day just by voting on four different vote sites on the website. We do have factions called gangs, factions, whatever you want to call it. You know, you can join factions up to 12 players per faction. And once you're free, you can benefit from all the faction commands, such as uh, claiming your land and, you know, faction raids and stuff like that. Renting, we do have jail cells. Each block has jail cells. It's like $100 a day. You just right click the sign and rent you a sign. Rent you a cell. Got MCMMO. Work on your skills, mining skills, digging skills, uh, sword skills, axe skills, all kinds of skills. The only thing that's disabled due to regenerating mines is Giga Breaker with shovels and Super Break with mine picks and Serrated Strikes due to safe zone exploiting. PvP leaderboards are disabled due to a uncompatible to 131. And you leave the tutorial, you're in the courtyard, there is PvP in the middle on the platform, so beware, safe zone, outside the platform, you will start out in D block. All fish will start here, it costs nothing, once you reach $2,000 in your money, rank up to D block and you continue to work in D block. PvP is past the red lines in the hallways to each block. To uh you have different options you have you can go straight down and risk being killed by noob diamond users trying to kill newbies or you can go down to sewers there is pvp also down here but a little safer since they really can't get to you unless they chase you from behind or meet you on the other side which you have an option get to the end check your left and right make sure nobody's to the left or right, you know, you have an option to go either way. Now you are in the prison cells, in D block prison. Here's the jail cells I mentioned before. See, $100 one day, you can rent it up to four days. Four times for four days. And you will not be able to enter someone else's jail cell unless they add you, which you cannot add people to your plots until you are free. Here is the block courtyard. You start out nice. <laughs> Someone built signs and they weren't supposed to. Anyway, they will be jailed. This is where you start. Get your trees, cut them down. We do offer. Let's see. Whoops. I was having it wrong. Let's try this again. We do offer tree assist so just punch one block and they all come falling down let me turn my pick up make your tools out of your wood you can use the workbench there or into a shop each block has a shop similar to this where you sell all the blocks to make your money and you also have a black market you can warp straight to the black market and here we are. Black market. You can also rent shops, which are more expensive. I believe they are $1,000 for every three days. You 
can rent it up to four times having 12 days now newly added is an enchantment shop where the server sells enchantments at a very expensive price for all you rich people all right and once you work through the city you will eventually become free you will have the option to have a free city plot in the city if one is available and of course they're all taken but timers do run out people do stop playing and they will become available once the rent plots runs out you can rent on top of it and all that items all their items are yours and this is the free world city there is also a nether and well the nether and the end are both disabled but I do have an option custom nether castle what we call it and it is randomly placed in the world of course it's world guarded but mobs do spawn you are able to kill mobs you just cannot disrupt this area so basically you just work your way up the stairs which is a pretty long haul and you work your way to the nether castle there is a custom regenerating mine at the very top once you work your way through if you can get through to the top with all the mobs the server is set on hard difficulty mobs hit harder players hit harder whatnot and once you work your way all the way through you got all the nether mobs inside this castle blazes uh, fire slimes pigmen uh, dead player already failed to make it at the top <laughs> uh, we gotta have gas at the very top it's like you're walking on clouds up here you have a gas spawner and the regenerating mine is for warts and this server wart placement is, is disabled the only place you can get and grow warts is here at this regenerating mine and that's about it back to the prison like I said there's four blocks you start out at D you work your way to C C block is 25,000 you work your way to B B block 50,000 I think and you work your way to A which is 75,000 yes 75,000 after a block you reach one hundred thousand dollars in your wallet you may become a free player you are free to roam around the city roam around the prison roam around just about anywhere and like I said with factions you can make your own faction plots outside in the free world be warned griefing is allowed griefing is recommended the only places you can't really grief is world guarded protection such as the prison and city and nether everything outside of that is open game grief away we encourage griefing here we encourage pvp here we encourage ganking here get your gank on Ah, one thing I forgot to mention was guards. We do have guards. There's an application form for guards. You must be free for three days before you can apply to be a guard. The community itself will vote for your guard application. If the community votes approve your application, you will become a guard. If you break any of the guards' rules, the warden, I myself being the warden, will fire you if you get fired from being a guard you will be sent back to prison being that you broke the rules broke the law you'll be sent back to prison as a fish and you will have to start all over this is the jail cell guards will send you to jail if you break prison rules not server rules prison rules such as contraband if you have a sword in your hand that's contraband a guard asks you to hand it over and you refuse to you'll be sent to jail if you attack a player in, in guard site the guard has the option to kill you if he cannot kill you and you run into safe zone you will be sent to jail first time three minutes 
five minutes thereafter. So, server rules are much different than prison rules. Server rules are basically hacking, you know, griefing the prison some way or another to find an exploit, exploiting any part of the game, you know, MCMO exploit, uh, block jumping exploit, whatever. Those are server rules. Those are bannable rules. And I will ban you. Any, any hacks get caught. Currently, right now, no one can see me because I'm still. And I will catch you. So please, do not hack on my server. You will be caught. And I will ban you. And that's it. It's Furious Craft Prison. Come join us. Have a good time. Get your gank on. See you when you get here. Peace out.